Brouwer's theorem on induced characters, often known as Brouwer's induction theorem, and named after Richard Brouwer, is a basic result in the branch of mathematics known as character theory, which is, in turn, part of the representation theory of a finite group. Let G be a finite group and let char G denote the subring of the ring of complex-valued class functions of G consisting of integer combinations of irreducible characters. Char G is known as the character ring of G, and its elements are known as virtual characters alternatively, as generalized characters, or sometimes difference characters. It is a ring by virtue of the fact that the product of characters of G is again a character of G. Its multiplication is given by the elementwise product of class functions. Brouwer's induction theorem shows that the character ring can be generated as an abelian group by induced characters of the form lambda h g display style lambda underscore h caret g where h ranges over subgroups of g and lambda ranges over linear characters having degree 1 of h in fact brower showed that the subgroups h could be chosen from a very restricted collection now called brower elementary subgroups these are direct products of cyclic groups and groups whose order is a power of a prime Using Frobenius reciprocity, Brouwer's induction theorem leads easily to his fundamental characterization of characters, which asserts that a complex-valued class function of G is a virtual character if and only if its restriction to each Brouwer elementary subgroup of G is a virtual character. This result, together with the fact that a virtual character θ is an irreducible character if and only if θ greater than zero and θ θ equals 1 display style langle theta theta wrangle equals 1 where display style langle wrangle is the usual inner product on the ring of complex valued class functions gives a means of constructing irreducible characters without explicitly constructing the associated representations an initial motivation for brower's induction theorem was application to artin l functions it shows that those are built up from Dirichlet L functions, or more general Heck L functions. Highly significant for that application is whether each character of G is a non-negative integer combination of characters induced from linear characters of subgroups. In general, this is not the case. In fact, by a theorem of Takeda, if all characters of G are so expressible, then G must be a solvable group, although solvability alone does not guarantee such expressions. For example, the solvable group SL2, 3 has an irreducible complex character of degree 2, which is not expressible as a non-negative integer combination of characters induced from linear characters of subgroups. An ingredient of the proof of Brouwer's induction theorem is that when G is a finite nullpotent group, every complex irreducible character of G is induced from a linear character of some subgroup. A precursor to Brouwer's induction theorem was Artin's induction theorem, which states that G times the trivial character of G is an integer combination of characters which are each induced from trivial characters of cyclic subgroups of G. Brouwer's theorem removes the factor G but at the expense of expanding the collection of subgroups used. Some years after the proof of Brouwer's theorem appeared, J.A. Green showed in 1955 that no such induction theorem with integer combinations of characters induced from linear characters could be proved with a collection of subgroups smaller than the Brouwer elementary subgroups. The proof of Brouwer's induction theorem exploits the ring structure of char G. Most proofs also make use of a slightly larger ring, char asterisk G, which consists of Z omega display style math b Z omega combinations of irreducible characters where omega is a primitive complex G th root of unity. The set of integer combinations of characters induced from linear characters of Brouwer elementary subgroups is an ideal I G of char G, so the proof reduces to showing that the trivial character is in I G. 
Several proofs of the theorem, beginning with a proof due to Brouwer and John Tate, show that the trivial character is in the analogously defined ideal I asterisk G of char asterisk G by concentrating attention on one prime p at a time, and constructing integer valued elements of I asterisk G which differ elementwise from the trivial character by integer multiples of a sufficiently high power of p. Once this is achieved for every prime divisor of G, some manipulations with congruences and algebraic integers, again exploiting the fact that I asterisk G is an ideal of CH asterisk G, place the trivial character in I G. An auxiliary result here is that A Z omega display style math B Z omega valued class function lies in the ideal I asterisk G if its values are all divisible in Z omega Display style math b z omega by g. Brouwer's induction theorem was proved in 1946, and there are now many alternative proofs. In 1986, Victor Snaith gave a proof by a radically different approach, topological in nature, an application of the Lefschetz fixed point theorem. There has been related recent work on the question of finding natural and explicit forms of Brouwer's theorem, notably by Robert Boltje. 